What's our uh? What's our campaign? Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Last time on the Adventures of Zorath. Our party escaped the jail, except for <laughs> Rocco and <laughs> LeBron Jahams for convenience. And were lured out into the woods by a mysterious man known only as the Grass Man, who seems to have some kind of connection to Hazel. And then, all of a sudden, he turned evil and sent weird chimera demons at them. But unfortunately for him, his ass got clapped so quickly. <laughs> as soon as he engaged the party, he turned into a fine crimson mist. <laughs> he did poor bastard didn't even know what hit him. No. <laughs> However, oh. one of the Harringtons, that's what it's called? Peritons? Yeah. The Peritons? One of the Peritons was left alive, as there is some aspect to them that is mysterious and unknown. It must be investigated. And that's where we are now. I have to say the Red Mist analogy was uh, great, because that's almost exactly what happens. You just got gone. You don't understand the... <laughs> it's just against a tree. Oh man. So that's where we are now. Um so you guys are out in the woods in the middle of this clearing. There isn't even a body for the grass man. It's just kind of a pile. Um you see the other two paratons have been hacked and slashed to death. Uh and then this one is I believe someone is pinning it down. I'm not sure, uh, but I do know that it is basically being held like by its neck by someone. Um, well, we had and... to pin we had to pin down uh, Biggs so that uh, Athlan could use a spell to turn him back from being a werewolf. Oh yeah. Um. So who was pinning down the? No, the Periton wasn't held down. I cut off its legs, so it couldn't really do anything. Right, that's yeah. what it was, because we needed one alive. You needed one yeah. alive, and I was like... <laughs> Did you cut it off? Cut its legs off at the knees? Yes. That's what it was. So yeah, the you knees. see this uh, stubby bird is just sitting there um, on the little stubby bird chimera thing is sitting there on the ground. Um, trying to flap away, but its wing is like broken. It's it's kind of sad, really. Um, and then you realize that it was a creature created by this crazy, coked up grass man designed to kill and only to kill. And you feel a little less sad, but still look sad. It's, I'm sorry, I just noticed Ahsoka's making biscuits. <laughs> There the bitch go. not be dry biscuit. <laughs> if there's like a Popeye's biscuit, I'm gonna have to go to the hospital again. Alrighty. Um, and so I believe was it Zircon and I think it was Zircon and Medgar were holding down Biggs. I could be wrong. That sounds right. Yeah, I thought you those. guys tried, and I accidentally so, yeah. them that twenty. I'm like, that's what. Mm. That's why it didn't sound right. Cause you like burst from them, um, but you rolled your wisdom save, and now mm. are in, I got like... blown into a tree mm -hmm. because I got a low score. Yep. And so you're in your like wolf form, in cognizant control of your body, right now. For now. And for now, yeah. And you're assessing the situation at the moment. Um. And Hazel just got brought back up, I believe. Yes, I did. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's where we are now. So you guys see this periton is flapping about in the middle of the clearing, trying to make its way to the hut, like the Shrek swamp hut that's in the middle of this. That's like towards like the edge of this clearing. Um, I, I did some before I started. What's up? Oh. Right. Oh. oh, okay, cool. Um, but yeah, so 
I don't think that was for us. Anyways, uh, yeah, so that's where you guys are at right now. Cool. What do you want to do? Do I need to make a wisdom saving throw? Right you did make you'd made a wisdom saving throw, and you saved enough that you are in control. Um, if we start combat again, you will have to start rolling again. Okay. Think of more like old school barbarian rage, where like in combat you lose it. You know. Yeah, I got it. All right. So technically, I'm out of rage now. You are technically out of rage, yes, as um, combat has concluded. <sighs> So people wanted to figure, like, didn't we say something about, like, communicating with the... Somebody wanted to keep it alive. Who wanted to keep it alive? Harry. Athlan. Athlan wanted to keep it alive because he noticed that the shadow didn't match up with the form. Yes. Oh, right. Um, well... I think I can... Can I talk with it? Or does it have language? Does it have language? I I can only telepathically communicate if they have language. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the stats for this thing. J. Joma Jameson. I believe I if I'm not mistaken, I believe it understands Elvish and just cannot speak it because it doesn't have like a mouth to speak it with. I speak Elvish. Oh, I, like I, I said, speak. it under it'll understand. Yeah. It cannot communicate it back. Can't communicate. So can it nod its head? I mean, I wonder if it can understand us. Let me see. Uh, language is common. Elvish understands but can't speak. So it understands common and Elvish. So uh, it does have a language. Okay. Uh, uh, we we're like looking for information, right? Yeah. Why? Oh, wait. Why were you asking? Huh? Why were you asking specifically, like, if it had language? Oh, because I was thinking that, because I don't know what it means, like, with the shadow thing. Mm-hmm. But I was wondering if we could, like, ask about it. Uh, yeah. From, like, the, like, canine mouth it has it can't articulate words in the same way that we do so we cannot communicate but you can tell it's reacting to your words or it wasn't reacting to your words and it was reacting to commands during combat so it does have a form of understanding if anyone has like a speak with animals or a kind of anything that like transcends language in that way um, you can definitely use that I do. Uh, let me look. Um, I do. I have it as a spell. Okay. Um. So it says you gain the ability to verbally communicate with beasts. Duration, the knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at a minimum, beasts can give you information by locations of monsters and perceive or have perceived within the past day. Might be able to persuade a beast to perform a small favor for you at the GM's discretion. Um, technically, the Periton's not a beast, and I think last time I ruled that because it wasn't a beast, something like it, there was a an effect that we couldn't do to it. So I'm going to say like a good idea, but it's not going to work in this instant. Ah, screw it. Screw it. It'll work. <laughs> Uh, it'll work. Sorry to be inconsistent, but I mean, I'm not, I can't really think of anything else you guys have. Uh, so yeah, uh, it'll work. Definitely. Cool. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and cast that then so we can speak with this paratin. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you go ahead, you cast, uh, speak with animals. So what does that look like? Um... You see as, like, this glowing orb starts, starts to, like, form up in the air, and it, like, I get this sensation to essentially swallow it, and now I can talk to the animal. You, uh, you deep throat a glowing orb, and, uh, what, what do you, uh, what, what do you got? first time. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
to ask it. Alfred. Yeah, so, so... What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Alphon was the one that wanted to ask it questions. What do you want me to ask it now that I could speak to it? Um. <clears throat> I don't know. I just noticed that something. You're muted, bro. I'm muted. Oh, wait, I you might be muted for me. Never mind. Continue. Can you hear me now, Danny? Yes. Okay. Um, I just noticed that something was off. The shadow and the figure didn't match up, so I was just confused about that. Um, so, what you're you're doing? Um, what again? You're casting what? Speak with Stupid animal. Stupid animal. Okay. Um, ask what origins it's from. What origins it's from? Yes. Where does he originate from? To Periton, what origin are you? <laughs> um, hold on, let me see what speaks with animals says again. Um, I am so sorry, I am unprepared. Uh, things are kind of everywhere on my end. Okay, this thing has an intelligence of nine, so it's. I think it's as smart as. As yeah, I was about to say it's as smart as Medgar, uh, so Medgar. or Medgar, so it, yeah, Medgar, M. Medgar. Medgar. <laughs> sounds like a Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, go. I have a shell. So, so you see this thing? It looks up at you. Um, and it kind of blinks oh. and goes. Huh? Uh, where are you from? Where, where am I? I from? Yes. I here. I'm I'm from here. Are you Is one entity? Is one entity? What kind of entity are you? Entity? I, I don't I don't know. I I don't know. Okay. I was a bird and a deer and a wolf and a dude. And four different things, and, and now I'm Ask this. About the dude. What? Ask about the man inside. Tell me about the man inside. I I don't know. Do you have a man inside you? I feel like we all have a man inside of us. <laughs> huh? Not right now. Pause. <laughs> Pause. Uh. That is. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'll put a man inside of you. <laughs> Who is the human inside of you? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't have legs. I don't think you. We have a bit of a pressing problem. You see his wings are like. I don't have legs. You guys on the other side. You hear. <laughs> But you watch as Hazel just is fully comprehending this guy. He's like, I'm missing my legs from the knees down, or at least where my knees would be down. Okay, do you see this is a problem? Like, this wing is fully broken. Like, I'm... List, like, do you see the situation? Can she do an inside check to see where his alignment is? What does that mean? I mean, sure. She. Can. I mean, you can. You can do an inside check to see what the alignment is. You can do an inside with disadvantage. Okay. Te Come on, big boy. Why won't you roll? Shut up, bird. Sorry. Demon. <laughs> My page is not letting me do anything right now. That's a sign from God. Thing. Why, why is my page fo frozen? Hold on. Because of the bird. But yeah, so uh, Hazel, it responds <laughs> to your answer, your question of who's the dude or who is the human part of you with that. Okay, we're not talking about your legs right now. I'm trying to ask you about the man inside. Is there a way that we can get to shift into him? Can you 
instead of this creepy bird thing with no legs. You see, oh, hold on, let me see if I can roll something for this guy to kind of. Can you reattach his legs and barter with that? I probably could. Okay. You see, he looks at you, he goes, Okay, um, I, I don't know who the guy was. I know that there was a, a, a guy that, when mixed together, became me. But I don't know who they were. I just remember aspects, flecks of of memory, just like I remember being a wolf and a bird, and 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 now I'm a I'm I'm legless. <laughs> He's legless. Elf. Legless. Um. Elf. Do you guys have any questions you want me to ask? Can someone do like an Arcana check of like? Because I assume, like, magic would have to... Ask him why he was trying to get to the hut. Okay. Why were you trying to get to the hut, Mr. Perryton? The good juice is in there. Good juices? Yeah, the good juice that made me this. So you need that to stay this way? No, I need that to, like... Listen, I was going to take his legs, and you see he points over to another periton whose, like, head is gone and, like, the body was cleaved in two, but the legs are still intact. He's like, I was going to take his legs and put them here, and then the good juice was going to heal my arm, my wing, and, yeah. So can you, like, gla could you take me in there, and I promise I'll eat you last? Yeah, you're eating. Oh, come on. <laughs> Um, well, could you at least put me out of my misery? Listen, I don't want to be eaten by a pack of wolves. I mean, you're gonna be eaten by a pack of wolves. Way. Yeah, but I don't want to be awake for it. Like, there's a difference. I can eat him. I'd rather you not. We can have have him set you on fire. Can I be a? Can I be dead for that first? Like, can you like finish me and then do that? No. Halflin, do you have any more questions you want me to ask? Um, so I, I walked out for a few seconds. I kind of missed a good portion of that. I apologize. We were just talking about his legs. Oh, okay. Um, have you offered to heal him or try to help him in... No, because he's, I mean, he's going to eat us if we do. <laughs> okay, well do this we can hang him up from a tree like a pinata and wait for a bear to come along and maul him or we can heal him and he can help us out or better yet and tell your friend this you could kill me just right here right now you got one of those sharp objects you could just one time you know what, so you would, what i'm hearing is you'd rather be strung up by a bear i'd or rather not hauled by a bear i get up my I, I don't. and tie him up I don't, please, no, oh god, okay, that hurts, please don't. Uh, as you, like, tie him up, I'm gonna make an opposed athletics check with disadvantage, hold on. Okay, cool. Uh, that's a seven, could you roll athletics just to see? No, I can't Ooh. move shit right now, my page is fucked up. Can you refresh it, or whatever? I refreshed it 17 times. You can you do it from your phone? Normally it's the 18th. That's all good. I'll roll for you. Let me see if I can go to your page and roll an athletics check. You have a plus six to athletics. If you crit fail, then you don't get it. That's a good. Was that to me or to everyone? That was to everyone. Roll the seven. I rolled. Okay. He has a plus six to athletics. This thing rolled a seven. He literally needed to get anything other than a one. But he meets it, beats it. He, it's a crit fail. Uh. So yeah, you try to go ahead and string up this bird, um, and it fully like pet, like <laughs> bites at you. Like you just see like canine teeth just like s snap at your arm. Um, 
and it's going to yeah do that and you're going to take eight points of damage i can change that apparently yeah you see it looks at you and it goes like yeah fuck around and find out my guy Anyone else want to do anything? Uh, Can I, like, just string my bow and just, like, aim it at him and have Biggs try and tie him up into the tree? Because Biggs is bigger. I need rope. Cause Can I like, cut I one of his rings off? Back. God, okay. Uh, just f figure out what you're going to do with this thing. Like, you see, he looks at you, he goes, why Why are you keeping me alive? I just, I just want to know. Why are we keeping Yeah, why are we keeping this thing alive? he doesn't have any information. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like end me. Like I'm in pain. Like just finish me off, please. Okay, so please. after so after he attacks Athlan, can I say uh I take my glaive and decapitate him? Yeah, please. <laughs> I was gonna do that. Well, well my glaive has a wrong a longer reach, so I made it faster. I have an axe. So you go yeah, ahead, you glaive, glaive just... his head off. Um and as you guys do that, you see that the sun is uh just ever so slightly beginning to rise and i'm not even gonna have you guys roll for this you know the sun's coming up they're gonna be looking for you that town is gonna to be crawling with guards and uh not biggs walk. also starts not or starts to untransform yeah biggs you do start okay. to untransform you're also going to take one point of exhaustion okay so... he needs a red bull yeah, so you should go to conditions, and then, yeah, if you go to condi conditions, um, under your hit points, if you scroll all the way to the bottom of that, it should say exhaustion, click one, and there you go. Okay. All right, so while that's happening, we're going to cut over to the prison. LB, Rocco, you guys are awoken by the sound of clanging metal against stone, you guys look out between the bars and you see the guards are just running, just like full sprint out into the courtyard as you hear Captain Kane go, all right, move, 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 move. And you see he makes contact with you and I, I contact with you too, goes, where are the rest of them? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Where are the rest of them? You two are the, literally the only ones here. Where are the rest of them? They have to be around here somewhere. You have to know. We're trying to, fa we're trying to figure it out, too. We were asleep. How are we supposed to know where they went? I don't know. You guys are a, a team, a unit, a party, whatever. You guys, like... I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> what else am I supposed to think? You guys are found at the crime scene. arrested together. together. That's what we... We're okay, you guys are accomplices. They're accomplices. How's that? That way you're not actually a team, but you are involved in... You all are involved in the murder, so yeah. I, I don't know where they went, man. We're trying to figure it out ourselves. They That's just great. left us. That's so. great. Well, uh, looks like we're going to have to wait for them to get back before anything can happen. Uh, now, before you do that... Before we take care of anything else, I'm just going to let you know, I am very happy to say you all have been found guilty for the crime of murder. And you see this kid run in like this, like a messenger guy, um, we're dressed very regally, like expensive clothes, more expensive than what you're wearing. He's wearing and Supreme. He, <laughs> you see, he comes in as ye I old in soup. Supremus, you know, <laughs> it's Supremus. in like the cursive font, you know. Uh, it, you no, see, sublime, it is sublime, yes, sublime in cursive sublime. font, it's in like the red, yeah. So you see, he runs in, um, and you see, he goes, uh, Captain, a uh, letter for you, sir. And you see, he like dips, uh, and you see, the captain goes, a letter for me from you see, he looks at it, and you see, he stops, and he goes. Damn it, what does he want? Tears it open and reads the letter. And you see he takes it and just kind of crumples it in anger. As he... 
disregard what I just said. Someone just paid your bail. Cool. Hmm. We still need to find the rest of your... The rest of the people involved, because you were all, all been summoned to the governor's house. We've been summoned to the governor's house for what? I burned up. Okay. See, he turns around and starts making his way out. And we're going to cut back to the he's crew. Just... In the... <laughs> we're going to cut back to the crew in the forest. Uh, what do you guys do? Well, everyone else is doing whatever. Can I be kicking around the Parrington's head like a soccer ball? Roll like an athletics check. <laughs> Uh, 14. Okay, yeah, you you juggle it pretty well. You like drop it after a few back and forths, but yeah, no, it it, it you're you're pretty successful on it. Um, but yeah, so the rest of you guys. <clears throat> um, um, we didn't learn very much, so I figure we should go back and get. Rocco and LB. What about the house? What about the special juice that made um, our oh, friend true. the way he was? Let's go scoop out the house then. I put the Peritons head down as we go. Um, it's okay if I go ahead first because I'm light on my feet and I have special sneakers that don't make any noise. Uh, you do? Cool. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and, uh, take the lead on that. Uh, you guys go ahead and make your way into the hut. This hut is a very small hut. Like Radagast's hut? Kind of, I guess. Think like the, it's like small but cluttered. Think like the witch in Brave. How she had oh, like all the, like, yeah. the stuff going on. Yeah, it's, it's small. Yeah, it's small, but there's a lot going on. Uh... You see, there's like a bunch of like dried herbs and stuff on like one, like one whole wall of just a drying rack for herbs. You see, like in, to the back is a bunch of pickled and jarred objects on shelves. Underneath that are furs and dried meats. And then another section is just a wall of knives of all different shapes and sizes. And uh, like the center, off to the right of this hut, is like a big cauldron and. To the left is a little sleeping bag made of like animal pelts and such. Can and I investigate the knives? Sure. Yeah, you can investigate the knives. That's a four, uh, 15. Okay, with a 15, uh, nothing really sticks out to you. A lot of these are just knives for different things. Like this is a flaying knife. This is a uh, bone saw. You know, like you have a bunch of different things going on. And the, there is one with a 15, and you see this knife. It's like a weird, jagged, almost like someone just very roughly made it kind of knife that I need you to make an arcana check on. Okay. Seven. With the seven, uh, you don't know what it is. It's just a weird, ugly-looking knife. Nice. Can I take it? Sure, you can take it. Yay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Can I, I have to check just of the little hut? Yeah. You. Um. Sorry. Say that again. Can I just make an arcana check just like for like the hut that we're in? Just uh, to you like... could, yeah, you could do arcana or nature kind of to get like the vibe of the hut. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna do nature. I got a six. Okay, with the six, uh, you're not really getting much out of it. You're not even sure uh, if there is anything weird about this hut. This Brereton might have been just hallucinating or whatever. But you do, I'll say with the six, you do kind of see that. There's a lot of ingredients in here for potions. Okay. It's not like a standard survival hut. Like this is 
specific ingredients that if taken by themselves would be deadly very much like how you had to combine the wolf's bane and the uh rat folk d or the wear rat dna in order to make this lycanthropy potion it's very much a similar vibe in this place okay mm -hmm. um but yeah so that's really all you guys are getting from this hut All right, is there anything else anyone wants to do here? You said there was a small sleeping bag? Uh, yeah, a small sleeping bag. Hmm. Probably uh, grass man sized. <laughs> no, no, what are you going to do? I was going to say, I'm going to pick up all the pieces of grass man and dump them in the bag and see if it's grass man sized. But I'm not going to do that. Hey. Uh,. Can I do um, either investigation or arcana for the juice or whatever? Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, either of those, whichever one you want. Yeah. After her, can I investigate the pickled substances? Uh, that's kind of what she's doing right now. Okay. And I would say like with your... Okay, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to say with your initial check, that's what you were... kind. Okay. It was involved in the check. So with a 10... With a 10, I'm going to say that's that's good enough. Uh, you're looking around. You're trying to find what this herd might have meant by the juice. And you stumble across a shelf. Like, you just stumble across, like, a chest. Like, a small, like, wooden chest. Probably, like, a jewelry box size. And as you look into it and you open it up, you see small vials. Probably no larger than, like, maybe two, three tablespoon sizes of just gr green glowing potions and there's probably like 20 in here and you're not super savvy on what on like nature magic or anything specific but you can tell this is probably the juice that this thing was talking about okay uh question before we go further whoever is damaged can we heal them because we don't know what's coming next let's say yeah you guys can take like not a short rest but you guys can like expend whatever you have in order to heal up yay do 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 um, i'm only down eight health points so if anybody don't All worry right. about me unless it's the very end i was down six health points you got gotcha. um Sean, are you still oh, having okay. issues with your dice roller? Yeah, it's fucking retarded. Um, are you you're using the dice roller on the app? Yeah, so like I go into character builder, right? I go back to yes. home, and when I click on, you know, click home, you go down. It says dice rolling enables digital dice rolling on, on this character. I click, right. you know, enable, and it pops up in the left-hand corner, but then it goes away when I go back to my character sheet. Go to your campaign, try going to the campaign, and then try going back to your character sheet. Normally, my dice roller won't show up unless I access my characters through the characters tab on my account profile. It's not working. Okay. Um, then do you have physical dice we can use at the yeah, time? Yeah, During... I have physical okay. dice. All right, cool. All right, so we'll just go ahead and use the physical dice for you then. Um, but yeah, anyone else want to do anything before we move forward? Who needs to be cured? Does anyone need to be cured? I'm, I'm down eight hit points. All delicious. I'm super delicious right now. As far as I can tell, you all should be fine, except for Hazel. Hazel's probably going to be at the lowest for all of you. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh, I can do Cure Wound on Hazel. Uh, and she'll get 1d8 plus 2 hit points. Okay, so you go ahead and roll that. Uh, I'm going to say while you guys are taking care of that, those who are not inside the hut, you hear like steady marching through the forest coming towards you guys lovely um do we want to roll stealth to hide in the hut 
You can, yeah, you can do that. Don't I have some sort of spell <laughs> that hides us? I have used up all my uh, spell slots. I thought we had a long rest. No. 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 You had a long rest before the fight, and now it's like, okay. yeah. Yeah, I okay, did have invisibility. Hit points. Say again? You get eight hit points. It's back. Okay. All right. Um, um, I have a question. I also, I have healing word. Can I use that on myself? Yeah, you can use it on yourself. It's a pet. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Medgar, you go ahead. You try to hide in the pelts, fully not knowing that there's like a deer antlers kind of there. So when you go to dive into the pelts, you accidentally like stab yourself. And so you don't hide successfully. Instead, you kind of let them know where you are, but going like, gah! Uh, so, uh, yeah, so as you guys are there, you hear these footsteps coming into the clearing and you see the town guard walk up and you see one of them points at you, Biggs, because you're the only one out there that I can think of at the moment. And they go, where's the rest of your party? Somewhere. Somewhere. Excellent. In a well, place. Great. Uh, could you give us more information? Why? The governor has summoned you. You paid your bail. They're in the hut. Right. Get them. Uh, okay. Base goes, gets them, and explains what happened. Paid our bail. Yeah. I don't trust this a bit. Can I make an it? Is, am I able to make an insight check on this? You have no idea what's going on right now. And you don't know the uh, governor well enough to like make deduce any kind of assumptions. Yeah. I we think we should go? go with them, but be very yeah. wary. Wait, what'd you say? I think we should go no. with them, but be very wary and cautious about uh -huh. what happens. Agreed. I mean, now, so yes, I agree. Yes. And what's the alternative? We can't just not go with them, right? Well, we can't just run for the rest of our lives. So I can. Same. <laughs> I'm. A, I'm a bastard now. So. <laughs> bastard club. <laughs> Let's go, bastard club. All right, well, I'm going with them. So am I. You guys are going to join us? Well, I don't yeah. want to be in the woods by myself with all these other animals, so I yes. guess I'll just... Let us go well, there's with plenty of places to be burned. House. Wait, wasn't the governor's house burnt down? It was a just one of his properties. Oh. Technically, it was the governor's property, but we're not going to... not talking about that. I, I, I just heard about it. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't talk about that. I heard about let's it. Let's not through, uh, talk about that one. To a sparrow. <laughs> no, let's not talk about that. Alrighty then. So you uh, guys before, go. Oh, sorry. Before no, we no, go no. to the guards, can I just like take a couple of those potions? Yeah, absolutely. You just kind of pocket them. Um, real quick, roll to see how many you can grab before you start. Like, it's a surprise tool that will help us later. Yeah, you. Okay, you grab like eight potions. Yeah, you grab like eight of those potions, like stuff them in like your pockets or whatever, and uh, go with the rest of the guards. So we're going to fast forward a little bit. You guys are escorted back into town. Now that like the fog is lifted and the day is new, you can see the effects of everything that happened in the town. There's a lot of overgrowth that just kind of happened. There's almost like a grass tarp all, like that grew the path that you guys took. There's also so a massive tree just kind of grown through the wall, almost as if like someone let this tree go for like a hundred years and it just kind of grew into the building. It's just bursting through. That's the same tree you guys ran up and jumped off of. And yeah, you also see that there's a dude. He's still there. Like a tree has fully grown no. through his body. No. Yeah, he's still no. there. Uh, no, he just like looks at you guys. Like, 
Oh, he's alive? <laughs> he's he's alive, yes. You see that there's, like, guards who are trying to, like, saw I was gonna say, no tree. one's helping this man! Yeah, you see there are guards who are, like, sawing the tree, but ever so carefully, because they're like, careful, if we jerk it too much, he's gonna, like, bleed internally or something. Like, they're being as careful as they can be. Don't jerk it too much, man. <laughs> and the, you guys... Are there, like, oh, yeah, stones at him in the, in the foreground? No. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm going to say that's me. That <laughs> if I was an NPC, <laughs> no, uh, no one's throwing stones. In fact, most of the NPCs are like, like we've said in the past, most of the population here are elderly, so a lot of them are just kind of Citrus like County. looking around, like, what the heck so is going on here? Stones. Got it. Back no, by but... day when we turn into trees, we just went to work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here, one person says that as you guys are being escorted through. Uh, yeah. So... This generation, I can't stand it. See, they wouldn't you be guys... throwing stones; they'd be rolling stones. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's a good one. So, as you guys are escorted oh. forward, oh. you see that there's another brigade of guards, kind of flanking LB and Rocco. And that's being held, uh, headed by. Captain Kane, and you see Captain Kane just staring daggers at you all, and just Obviously. kind of. Hello. Hi. I I do Hi. not make eye contact. Oh, your bail has been paid, and the governor nope. requested that we escort you personally. By the way, you left these two behind. Yeah, where'd y'all go? He left us. Uh, don't talk. Don't come at us. Uh, Grassman left y'all behind. Grassman? Grassman? That's a long story. We'll explain later. Maybe. I'd introduce you, but he's kind of in like seven different places right now. And... <laughs> over there, over there, over there. <laughs> you murder another man. Well, uh, the... that was self defense. Okay. That, yeah, it was 100% self defense. He attacked us first. Plus, well, he wasn't really a man. He was. He grass. didn't attack us, but he started yeah. to first, so it was pre. It was it was self defense. You know, it was like you know, like when like, you know, like so to put this into perspective that you, a law enforcement person, would understand. You know how when someone like reaches under their cloak and you're like, he's got a dagger, and you all shoot him with your crossbows. That's what happened. You have me in the first half. <laughs> Not gonna lie. He's cool, he's but in this context, he actually did have a jet dagger. So. You see, he looks Tending. at you and just goes, "Leave before I arrest you again for stupidity." I'm following you, man. Hey, that you you can't do that. That's that's not real. That won't hold up in court. I know my rights. Do you? Yes. I'm not entertaining this any further. I've got at least three of them. You see. <laughs> <laughs> see, he knocks on the governor's door and you s watch as a, a servant walks forward and opens it they are dressed like a butler very formal you see this is a all gnome if that makes sense a like, normal this is, sized man it's like <laughs> it's like if you took a gnome and you stretched them tall you know like a garden uh, gnome sized man yeah, okay. kind of like a garden gnome. And you see, he goes, Oh, yes. The governor's company. Follow me. And you see, he turns, and he starts walking into the house. And you see Captain Kane. My Kane's captain like, will miss you. I won't. You won't miss you? That's weird. You'll Leave. You in your dreams. <laughs> see you later, Captain. You see, he just stands. He just stands there, waiting for you all to go in. Uh, and as you guys make your way in, you see the governor's house is quite nice. It's a big, ornate, not mansion, but it's, it's well. It's a, it's a house that's well designed, very spacious on the inside. A lot of a natural light coming in. You see beautiful wood columns coming down, with like ornate carvings in them. You see, there's like antique furniture spruce throughout the place, rugs all over the place. And uh, as you guys are following in, you pass this like 
massive kitchen, probably the size of the entire apartment that <laughs> Medgar was staying in. And you guys continue in and you stop by this door, this massive mahogany door with all these beautiful carvings. But you see they're like scenes of like a war that happened years ago uh, between some divine force and some uh, infernal force and the center of it being like the material plane that you all are on being caught in the middle and there are scenes of legend and lore and all this stuff all over this door and it has got two brass like knockers and you see the butler picks one and knocks on it and you hear from behind you the voice goes, come in. And you watch as the door opens up. And you see there's this man peering over a large desk covered end to end with maps and schematics and papers of all different manner of importance. He's like scribbling, dipping his pen in like an ink quill and finishing up a document. And you see it with one hand. With the other hand, he's like casting. You see he's finished casting a spell. And he looks up and goes, Thaumaturgy. It's better than yelling. It protects my voice. Anyways, come in, come in. Sorry. That's fancy. Yeah. So, uh, why did you pay our bail? Um, first off, I have to say, you were all very impressive. Uh, let me introduce myself. I am the... Oh, before I go ahead and continue, this is a guy, he's fairly, he's shorter than Biggs, but not by much. So he's a tall guy, uh, pretty sturdy build. Athlan, you recognize him as the guy who bought the wooden carving your first day in the farmer's market. And actually you see it kind of on display as a little desk toy. Can I steal it? <laughs> you see, he looks at you guys. Uh, you see, he sees you, Medgar, eyeing it. He goes, you know, you can ask the maker for one. He made that for me. Oh, no, I was, you know, I was just, I, I was admiring the craftsmanship. You were just admiring the craftsmanship. Okay, yes. great. Excellent. Well, <clears throat> can I roll um, deception to see if he believes me or not? Sure, roll a disadvantage. Uh, 15. 15. Okay, you see, he kind of goes, I mean, fair enough, it is a, it's a beautiful piece. Back to, <laughs> back to what I was saying. I'm Governor Naranos. Uh, you can call me Mork. What? Mork? Can yes. I call you Governor Naranos instead? You know what? That's fine. Uh, I formalities are formalities and if you prefer that way then that's fine reason i ask for your presence and i pay your bail Lisa. is because geez Lisa. i'm about to shout no shut up no uh <laughs> you see he continues he goes the reason i ask for your presence is because i have been summoned to the capital ever been a two major deaths within a week the high religious counselor father Valora and his second command father Grail have both been killed hmm, with that being that's... said there is no one Weird. left in line to assume the role of a religious counselor there is not a designated survivor in this case which is something we kind of need to establish that is a part of why i'm being summoned to the capital we need to establish a new head of the church and that requires a vote from all of the leaders of the towns on the island with that being said that requires me a two days travel i do not want to travel because Valora was killed on the road, so I want a band of mercenaries to protect me. Valora was being guarded by the king's best, and they were not 
strong enough. And if I can be perfectly honest with you, I value my men here too much. I know all of them personally. I know their families. I've seen them grow. If they died, that would be on my consciousness. They are not expendable. You we, are. We are. It's not the first time I've been called that. That's not surprising. It's not. It's really not. I didn't need that comment. However, <laughs> your prowess and your tenacity have been shown. You took out Father Grow, which I honestly didn't know the man was a lycanthrope, and yet you all single-handedly, well, not single-handedly, but seven-handedly took him out. <laughs> and that's impressive. I could use protection like that. With that being said, I am more than willing to finalize the payment on your bill and make sure that you are all scot-free. Well, at least in this town. I know one of you has a record, which I will ask about in a moment. I need to know who is protecting me, and I need to know that I can trust you. Or, and I mean this in the most sincere way possible i will kill you so fast you will not have time to register what happened yeah okay <laughs> you make a good argument you wouldn't even be able to register it because we'd be dead yeah there are ways to prolong the effects of death and magic I am proficient in most of them. You see, he points. He's a graduate of Strixhaven. And you see, he's like a graduate of like the, I forget which college it was, but it was the life and death college. You see, he just has that kind of framed. And you see, he goes, oh, yes. I'm like, uh, what, are you, what are you pointing at, man? I, I have no idea what any of that is. So not. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, You're not that scary. If you need our protection, why are we scared of you? I'm sure you are all aware of your own physical capabilities. There comes a point where you, as a spellcaster, as a fighter, as a any kind of combatant, you run out of steam. You run out of energy. If I am being ambushed, I am one man. I am not going to be strong enough to protect myself against all these people. However, if I have my own small band of marauders with me the odds are much more favorable does that make sense i can dig it okay so with that being said i'm going to take this time and ask exactly who are you and what are you doing in my town i'm biggs i was just here to make some money I brought Hazel with me. Hi. Found these guys. We made more money. Simple as that. Your only motivation is monetary funds. <laughs> Currently, yes. Okay. Is there anything deeper than that? Is there anything else? The reason being is that I'm a very powerful man. If you successfully get me to West Haven and back, I will connect you with any and every resource I know to get you to do whatever you want. Ask me again later. I'll think of something. Okay. Simple man. I like it. What about you? The one he came with. You're Hazel? Ask for nothing except peace. Yeah. After this, I want to be left alone by you and your little bars and everybody else. And the child of course. Obviously. Obviously. Simple so, enough. I can do that. Leave you alone and get you whatever your request. Fine. You, Edge Lord. What's up with you? Me, Edge Lord. See, he points between both Athlan and Medgar. Just like, <laughs> speak. That's great. I nudge Medgar. 
Um, well, like, how far back do you want me to go? Like, I mean, are you looking for a life story? Or just, are you just looking for, like, a new person? Who are you, and why are you in my town? I'm Medgar. I'm pretty sure you have a general idea as to who I am. Um... And I'm pre I'm pretty much he I'm pretty much here for um I'm pretty much here just like Biggs just to make some more money. Uh, can I roll deception for that? Her, yeah. That's a twenty three. Okay, Damn. he fully believes you and goes another simple man. I like it. I love simple. All right, excellent. Well, money is what you want. Money is what you'll get. And what about you, my half orc friend? Who are you, and why are you in my town? Yes, you. My bad, I had to take care of I was going to say, do we have another half-orc? I just like how you point. Like, um, I did another not guy so, like sneaks <laughs> up. Oh, we have I another just, one? I just had to talk with uh, no one you said about being oh. quiet. And, my uh, bad, sorry about that. Um, no, you're good. But no, yeah, I, so I yeah. could introduce myself. Mm -hmm. um, my name's Rocco. Uh, I'm in town because... Well... I was kicked out of mine, um, and I don't want to be in your town anymore. It sucks. So, any any way out, I'm a, a take. I will not take offense to that. Uh, it's just a bit of a fixer upper. I, I agree. A um, bit. This shit. <laughs> yeah, you could stand to burn runs. down a couple more houses. Okay. Well, yeah. We, we don't. Okay. We don't have to go that that deep now. Um, it is still my home. Uh. Well. All aren't like, isn't like half the town owned by you, or maybe ninety percent of the town. So yeah, technically it really is your home. The problem with the way that the districts and such are set up is because in order for me to be a governor, governor, I have to own land. I own this entire town. This whole plot of land is mine. It's under my name. It's been under my family. I've poured my funds and my resources into building this town into what it is currently, and. Most of the denizens are renting the property just as a means of income that I can then take to the capital. I can't give these houses to people for free, otherwise I would. How long have you been governor? Well, I'm gonna say 10, 10 years? Nah. It's... <laughs> How long until this uh, place starts looking good? That's the real question. Well, we're trying to get new life in here with the guards from West Haven moving in, trying to start up new families. With this introduction of new younger families, we're going to try to build a community around them. That's the goal. As you can see, it's a little slow starting. Uh, we're just waiting for the rest of the geriatric population to just kind of take their course. Oh, oh my! I'm sorry, but the housing market needs to open up somehow. It is Citrus County. It, it literally is. You see, he goes, I, but again, I know these people, and I have watched this town grow from the inside, and it means a lot to me. Where do you have to go again? Where are we? Uh, uh, in the capital, West Haven. All right, cool. All righty. And that leaves you two. So... Which of you wants to go first? Um, well, I am Zircon de la Cristaline, um, which I'm sure tells you enough anyways. From Wait, that's your last name? name? Ostua. Yeah. Um, I'm from Ostua, as you probably already know. Um... And I am here because I needed to find um, refuge in a new uh, city where I could keep a low profile. Because someone was attacking my family. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, low profile is what you seek. We will do our best to make sure that you are invisible. And you, my tall friend. 
Who are you and why are you in my town? Can you hear me? Yes. Nice. Um, I'm looking for some treasure, you know, a library of sorts. Um, you know, so. You're on Sokka's quest? Basically, yeah. You see, he goes to the library. What kind of library? I still don't know yet. Okay. Um, but you are looking for it. Do you have any kind of direction? Do you know anything about it? Uh, I have a I have a vague map, but other than that, no. A vague, a vague map. You see, this is where he like kind of like starts to get interested. Like, tell me, what kind of vague map is it? Uh, well, when they don't give you a lot of descriptions, and uh, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, let me let <laughs> me see let me see the map. Oh, I I let him see the map. Okay. Um, I believe I sent it to you. So if you want. Do you want me to put it in lore dump or what? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, bu -bu -bu, there you are. Go and go ahead. Oh, that was the one. Okay. So, yeah, you see uh, LB passes over this map. It's a piece of a map that's, like, torn. And you watch as the governor looks at it and goes, this is, this is incredible. I've, I've been looking for this piece specifically because i i hope that it gets me a little closer to what it is i'm searching for and i'll just take the map back very quickly so he doesn't steal it <laughs> you see he goes oh no 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 i here and you see he rummages around um and finds this oh, there's more map um stone uh, age so the first one is your your map the second one is his. Ooh. Can I have it? You see, he goes, oh, of course, yes, you, here. I'm obviously not going to be going on an adventure anytime soon. But you can use it, and I've been looking for another piece, the other pieces. And as you can see, it's not the full map, so we have more work to do, or you have more work to do. Uh, can I um, also ask for another thing? If I help, I want a dope ass sword, like a really cool one, and a, and and something nice for my really weird looking cat that I just remembered that I had. You really weird looking. You watch as this cat, this like mangy cat, just like <laughs> kind of crawls up, just like looks at you, and, like coughs at him, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, he looks. Like, oh, okay. That looks terrifying. That. Mm. It truly does. It it looks rabid. I thought oh, that yeah. thing died. I I try to throw him away, but you know, it just keeps <laughs> coming back. Name Garbage a boomerang. Case, you know? <laughs> it's a boomerang. It's what's his what's its its name? What's its name? Uh, you know, I call it Rigby, but you can call it, you know, Trashy. Trash, Trashy. Okay, Rigby. Um, I feel that Rigby is a bit more respectable than Trashy. I won't refer to it as Rigby. Right. Okay, well then, uh. Well, hey, 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 hey. Don't forget about fellow edgelord over here. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I'll, you know I'll what, dude? You, you freaking, <laughs> you nudged me, I nudge you, pal. Uh, okay. oh. um, as far as you, um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name, my friend. Uh, I'm just a bastard yes. orphan. Not you, the other one. Uh, C points to LB because I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry, I apologize. They call me LB. <laughs> Go for it. LeBron James. Vince Wing Bastard. <laughs> Lonely Bastard. I no, like not you, Lonely the Bastard. The other the LB. C goes LeBron James. Yahamez, as they say. Yahamez, okay. <laughs> Sounds exactly. I took like oh. chalk and like throw it up in the air. <laughs> Where did he get that? Just oh, well, there, there goes, there goes my chalk. Okay. Um, <laughs> I go crumple up the map, toss it in the trash. I oh, okay, it's just this. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, your cat goes and picks it back up. Um, 
But yeah, so he goes, okay, well, um, LB, uh, thank you for your answer. Uh, and you, finally. I know who you are. Tom Knight dumps the baby. <laughs> you see, he looks, he goes, I am, you see, he's a, I am very sorry for your loss. And I also am very sorry for your demotion within the church. I can imagine that it's painful. I'm just in the you, So what do you want? What can I do to repay your services by protecting me? Danny, real quickly. I should have talked to you about the sale of you, and I apologize. Okay. It's an anime body pillow. Yes. <laughs> it, was, it was a cutout of Danny in my closet. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, so, so, what? You said you should talk to something. What is it exactly? Okay. Uh, can I say that my character keeps having like weird visions? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, okay. he's been kind of having them. We kind of described it with like the voices and everything. So that's yeah, that's happening. I want to know if my mother is still alive. That's a tall order, but I can get you to the people who can get that for you. Can I show him? I, I pull up my arm too. And I show him the uh on real quick. That is a natural twenty. So you see he looks at your you see he looks at your arm, inspects it for a little bit. He goes one second. You feel him cast a spell on your arm. As you see, he kind of waves his hand over it. Um, his eyes glow like a cobalt blue as he stares at it. Hear like faint whispers surrounding both you and him. And after like a minute or so, he stops and he lets go over your hand. He goes, a few things. Number one, I don't know if you're mother is alive i can tell you however your mother was a your mother was a witch because this is a witch's brand now lucky for you your mother wasn't a hag because then you would have been a hag by now and also you would have been female but your mother was a witch there's a lot a lot attached to this that i cannot unlock it's, I'm more proficient in the arcane, and, oh, look at that. <laughs> so he goes, I'm more proficient in the arcane. This is a bit more on the divine side, a bit more natural than I'm used to or accustomed to. But I know people who are proficient in this kind of magic and can definitely get you the answers you're searching for. That would be they reside in Ohio. Okay, then. Well, in that case, I appreciate your honesty, everyone. And, uh, well, I guess in that case, we're just going to go ahead and arrange for transport. Now, I don't want to end up like Valora, so we're not going by land, we're going by sea. Even if it does take longer, they can wait. Mm. So, is anybody seasick? I love the ocean. Let's do this. <laughs> Excellent. I grew up in a friggin' waterside city, so I don't have the luxury of being seasick. I am not seasick. That I know of. Excellent. Well, in that case, you all uh, have about the rest of the afternoon to 
square away your assets, collect any materials that you may need. It's going to be a long journey, and it's going to be a good journey, too. We are waiting for our transport to come. They should be coming sometime later today. I am very pleased that you all accepted my offer. Otherwise, we would have been stuck here. So, alrighty then. And I will be seeing you all at the docks in... You see, he, like, pulls up. See, like, reaches in. He pulls out, like, a, a pocket watch and goes, about two, two hours? Two hours? Yeah, two hours should be good. All right. I will be seeing you then. You are dismissed. Thank you. I leave. All right. Follow. All righty. Um, so with you guys leaving, um, I'm going to say you guys definitely get a short rest in. So you guys can go ahead. Some of you can get back your spell slots. Some of you can burn some hit dice. You guys get a short rest in. LB, Rocco, you guys are still riding high on that long rest, so you guys should be fine. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to say you guys, uh, what do you guys want to do? You guys have an hour to do anything. To the tavern. To the tavern. Yes. I like the way she thinks. Take a nap. Um, I need to do. I can use the mala right now. Two d twelve plus three. <laughs> mala. Oh, I only actually need to burn one. Do they sell like fishing rods here? Uh, yeah, they do. They sell fishing rods over at... Hold on, let me pull up the map, because it's been a while since I hear them, because if we're going to be on a boat and stuff, I'm trying to fish. Yeah, uh, so you're oh, going to catch a hydra. Mm -hmm. You roll your head die, hang on. Uh, so at the Ingrin shipyard, you know that they would sell, like, fishing supplies and other things like that, and you would find, um, uh, fishing rods there. And bait and stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alrighty then. So, do you want to like go ahead and like play that out or no? Press. Um. Sure. Yeah. I'll just go to the market. They got. Do they got? Um. They got a tailor here too, right? On the map, they got a tailor. They do. Yeah. Um. I believe it is called the. Uh, Robin's robes and more. Yeah. So you're going to find Robin's robes and more actually right by the town. Uh, center or right by the farmers market. So yeah. So yeah, I'll play that out. The the fishing rod and stuff. I could just mm -hmm. have, I guess. But yeah, yeah, I'll play out the. Yeah, we'll we'll square away the fishing rod later. Uh, but yeah, so is anybody going to be joining him at the Robin's Robes and more? Because I know my thing. My fit is out of whack. I will. I got like um, boxer briefs on with coat. Doesn't look good, so. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so so far we have Athlin and Rocco who are going, uh, going once, going twice. Sold. All right, cool. So, Athlin, you show Rocco. I'm going to say, like, Rocco asked you, is there, like, a tailor's shop or something around here? And you take him to uh, this place. As you guys walk in, you see there are swaths of robes and cloth hanging from the ceiling. You see there's, like, a whole bin of just fabrics off to the side, uh, you see there's one person who's currently being fitted for a dress, uh, and you see behind the counter is a very bored-looking tiefling. You see they are a purple tiefling with, like, horns that kind of, like, come around, like, very, almost like a ram-like, um, with, like, shaggy black hair, um, and, like, full red eyes with, like, black sclera. Uh, you see that, like, nails are painted black, and they're wearing very nice clothing, though. Uh, you see they kind of look and go, Hi, welcome to Robin's Robes and More. How can I help you? I need a new outfit. I'm about to go on a on a journey on a, on a boat, and uh, what I have right now is not presentable, I guess. Yeah, you do kind of look a little everywhere um and you i am getting very uh preacher kid vibes uh altar boy vibes or are we going with this like yeah, what are we he... looking for no no just no okay well that's not much to work with uh you i will go ahead and work with you um 
What are we thinking? What's the vibe? What's the energy? Give it to me. Um, it's just something to keep me warm. I don't want to be cold on the ship. So, uh, pants, coat, I guess. I don't know. All right. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and see what you got. Real quick, I need you to make a... Gosh, what do I? When am I going to make this roll? I want to make it. <laughs> I want to make the, We're going to make this a uh, investigation roll. No, we're going to make it this a performance roll because it's based performance. off charisma. Yeah. Um. So for and before you go ahead and do that for everybody, when you take a short rest, you click the short rest button, and let's say you use it. It says like your hit die, and then why is it so go? Yeah, so, like, when you uh, click the short rest option, it should say, like, around it, your class, and it says hit die 1D whatever, plus or minus whatever, right? And so, basically, you should be seeing three squares underneath it. When you roll to get back hit points, you take your die, like, what it says, like, 1D whatever, plus or minus whatever, and you roll, and you add that to your hit points. So, for example, if I were to be... I'm looking at Athlon's page right now. He's got a 1d8 minus 1. So if I were to roll and get this number here, that is a 8, so minus 1. So he gets 7 hit points back, and he would click one box. That's like how many hit point hit dice you have on hand. Okay. Um, and then when you take a long rest, everything resets. Hazel's um, character sheet is glitching out, and it's rolling nonstop. Yeah I'm... yeah, I'm seeing it. Um, we're just going to ignore it for now. Can you? Is there a chance you can refresh your page or whatever? I that's right what now. she's doing. <laughs> okay. Um, that's Rocco, funny. give me the results of that. Uh, career. All right. Me, yeah. Give I'm gonna just. I'm gonna roll it with a with advantage since Poco is on my head. Okay. Yeah. Sure thing. Yeah. Uh, My thing is slow right now. It's okay. You're all good. Everyone's D and D Beyond's kind of glitching right now. <laughs> Did it roll? Not yet. What'd you get? I have no clue. Like my my dice is just suspended in the air <laughs> on the thing and. Uh... Mm. Okay. Uh, try refreshing your page, you're doing it? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. As you're doing that, I will say, yeah, Poco can give you advantage, because uh, you see this person's like, I love that familiar that you've got going on up there. He's all, like, iridescent and, like, colorful. What's it, What's their name? Poco. Poco? That's cute. I like it. Pokes at your heartstrings. What about you? What's your name? Rocco. You see, they stop, they go, wait, so you just, you named the... Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, it's inspired, I like it. What's your name, dude? My name? <laughs> My name is, uh, Thavius. I'm like Sean, uh, Sean Gilmore from Vox Machina. <laughs> Vox Machina. Is that is that? I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna roll it on my phone, dude. I don't know. I, just, I haven't watched Vox Machina. Mm. But yeah, you see, they go. I'm Thavius. Uh, it's nice to meet you. So, what type of um, what type of clothing does he even have here? Like, what, like, what vibe? Because so he sounds uh, super, um, like he has super out there clothes in his shop or something. He's got a combination of many things. I'm saying as you, it's he's like as as uh as he's you fitting have, like, you. Goth clothes, like like. So, you see, Thavius is currently dressed like in like very ornate, nice, but kind of dark muted tones. Um, and you see, it's like very textured clothing. They're very out there in um their expression of fashion. However, when they are leading you through the store, you see that there's mannequins with a bunch of different models and a bunch of different uh, designs you see there's a different aesthetic going on with each of them you know um, okay six and a five you see they look and they go 
So what's, what's the energy? What's the vibe? What are we going for? The vibe. Just, dude, I'd, uh, I'd appreciate if you just showed me what you got and I'll, uh, I'll tell you from there. Okay, well, um, here's what we have. You see that they're, they're kind of showing you around. There is a lot of more modern, like, you see a lot of, like, more modern designs and a lot of modern fashions. Um, do they got any your... rock star shit? Like, <laughs> in all honesty, do, do they have any rock star shit? You see Fabius looks at you and goes, rock star shit? What are you talking about? Danny, can you do like a fucking translate real quick? Like, are we talking? Do you have any like, bard stars? Thing? It's like, what am I? You see, you I see, they go. You see, they look. They go. Wait, are we thinking? Are we talking like tattered, torn clothes, like holes and shit? Like, is that what we're going for? Uh, shit. You um, rolled a five on on, on performance. You rolled five. Yeah. So whatever I'm, going. whatever I say isn't even gonna. Makes sense. To, let's, to I'll just say that it's a very, it's very evident right now. You rolled a five. Yeah. Um, so I'm just like, uh, yeah, just you got like black clothing, I guess, leather, or whatever. Okay. Um, you see that uh, Fabius looks at you up and down and goes, "I got something." And you see they reach into the bin and start like throwing clothes, and they throw you um, a pair of pants. Uh, leather these pants. Are, they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're not leather pants. You see that they're uh, cotton, kind of cloth pants. And you go, I like the fighter boxer vibe you're going for. That's really cool. So we're going to go with that. Um, and I also really like the octopus. So we're going to go with something nautical. How is this? You see they throw you um, a top. and they go, It'll go well with your jacket. So why don't you try it on? Yeah, thanks. He tries it on. Says yes. I'll okay, take cool. it. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, he goes, great. It's going to be 12 silver. Oh, fire. 12 silver. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, uh, Athlin, real quick. Uh, I just need you to make a uh, make an insight check for me. That's an 18. Okay, with an 18. Um, modified this... 18, sorry. Oh, oh, the modified 18. You see... What Fabian has thrown together for Rocco is it's not fashion. I mean, you don't know what fashion is, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, but you know what other people are wearing. And I mean, at least like what the geriatric community is wearing. And I'm going to say with an 18 and this perspective, you're like, that's you look like a delinquent. Do I fit in the West Haven and not where we're you at? See, you see, Fabian looks at you, goes, "Oh, you would fit into a thieves' guild in West Haven, absolutely. If you're going for like a bad boy kind of vibe, like it's perfect." I'm not really going for a vibe at all, man. I just need clothes. I... <laughs> but everybody has a vibe. Is there like an energy that you project? What is your like aura? What's your color? Like, what How are? How am I you? supposed to know that? You tell me. <laughs> I don't How am I supposed know. to tell you my vibe? I think. That's what's your that's your vibe? Your aura? Your energy? Tell me. All I can tell you is that I'm a half orc, and uh, I fight. Okay. All right. Also, somehow I forgot I have these like mystical skeletal arms that oh. come out of my back. That's it. Let me see them. Okay. I show the arms. <laughs> see, they stop. They go. You should have led with that. Okay. I've got so many new ideas now. I love the color. I love the energy. All right. Appreciate it. You could throw you could throw together another fit if you want. I'm so I, excited I now. I don't want to <laughs> get arrested just for looking like a delinquent. Cause... You see they run over and they start tossing like more clothes out. You see the colors are becoming a little bit more exciting and vibrant. And you see that they pull up a shirt and they go, this will be for your friend. And they throw it over to Athlin. Athlin, you see this like leather like top with a hood is just thrown to you there you go edgelord welcome to the bastard it, club it black or brown it's brown okay that was actually what i was going for <laughs> yeah see they go i feel like it's going to fit the depression vibe i'm and i'm sensing depression from you depression vibe <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. the what depression. See, I'm, see, I'm an empath, so like I can feel the okay. depression. No, no, 
I'm hmm. sensing you're sad. Oh, oh God. I'm just sad. <laughs> Danny, I just sent you a picture of what you could say it looks Athlon like. Athlon with visible yeah. tears streaking down his face. I this sense... random jackass. <laughs> Sensing he's in pain. He's I an ambassador. that you're upset. <laughs> oh, where are you sending what it? What does an you? empath even... I sent it through Instagram. What does an oh, empath okay. even mean? Just like, somebody like who a... can sense emotions. Um, uh, yeah. Right. I'm an so... ex... An empath sounds like an X-Man character, dude. <laughs> Oh, you see, they start like digging through. They're like, "Okay, I think these will work." And they throw you like these pants and this like shirt and these boots that all kind of look like they are designed to go together. Uh, you see that they come around and start like sh measuring you and go. So I'm, I can tell that you use those arms for fighting, or at least I'm going to assume you do. Yeah. Yeah, I just told you I was a fighter. Excellent. See, I sense that. Um, so. Mm, yeah. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> just tell you it two seconds ago. Sense yeah, it. of course, because I'm, I'm a good like that. I'm an empath. Anyway, so you see they continue measuring your um stuff. They as they're measuring, they go. I wanted to give you something that's a little bit more flexible, something that'll give you energy to room. Energy to room. That didn't sound right. Energy to. Nothing you've said Hello. is really sounding right. I list okay, okay. Um, depression okay. vibe. <laughs> wow, it's 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 an energy that I was sensing. It always off sounds off left. Him. It was it's an energy that I was sensing off of him. I'm sorry, gosh. Okay. okay so how does how does the fit look? How does the outfit look? Um, I'm going to real quick roll. That's a. Okay, cool. 16. It doesn't look too bad, you know? It's like how you feel when you wear, like, new clothes. You're like, I like this. This is good. But it's like a new style, so it's not really you just yet. You're kind of still coming into your own. But does it, it looks... look like the picture that I sent you, or does it look different? Because you're the one that's controlling the... <laughs> it it's up to you, my man. It's up to you. Okay. Alrighty, then. Well, so you said 12. I already took the 12 silver out of my out of my inventory so is it the same price or no or did it go up Damn. oh it's the same price it's the same price okay, cool all right so i thanks for your time um i gotta go get back to to my job all right yeah i'm about to do all right when you see they go of course and um if anyone asks you're wearing robin yeah. Okay. I walk out. I I walk out, and when I get out of the store, I tell Athlan, "What a fucking weirdo, right?" <laughs> <laughs> what does that impact even mean? Like, how how could he tell as tears are running down my my face? <laughs> <laughs> tears streaming down his face. The face What's has his been name stained in the with tears. Searching. There's something wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about a bio break? Yep. All right. Cool. We'll take yeah, a bio yeah, break. Sounds good. Um, yeah, we'll meet back in a few minutes. Uh, all right. I'll see you guys in a second. Yeah, all right. Man. The chillest of legumes. Oh, Danny, would you like to see the helmet? I believe I saw it. You sent it to the chat, yeah? Right, but it's not like seeing it in video. So let me see it in video. Oh, that thing is shiny. Yeah, man. Wow, that is shiny. Wow. That is impressive. Holy crap. You printed that? He did print it, yes. That's insane. Yeah, it, it's pretty fucking wild. That is, that is insane. Um... Yeah, holy crap, that looks so good. Yeah, man, that's the Rustoleum. Who just left a group? I'm going to grab something to eat real quick. Cool. I'm gonna grab some. I'm gonna make Even. myself a blizzard. What? Look what I sent you on TikTok. On TikTok. 
Dang, dang, dang. I have one notification on Facebook. Give I'm it a sec. Welcome to the thing. You have something I want. Is it is it the ATAT one? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna take a quick little break here for everyone watching. And we'll be back in uh, just a few minutes.
Okay, and I am back. And it looks like no one else is back on just yet. But that's okay. Just means I get to enjoy my food. Hope everyone who's watching is uh having fun as much as uh we're having fun. It's probably not the case. But I hope you, you people, lovely, gorgeous, beautiful people who are watching, I hope you are enjoying it. And the people who will be watching uh in the future, I hope you enjoy it as well. lot of messages during this campaign so I'm a little out of it Hold on, let me change this uh, music real quickly Is there no sound? Hmm. I'm a shedding sun, but I'm never I'm alone, I'm a broken home I gave you all the bricks that I own and know I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down Breaking these walls down If you want adventure, then fight a home Okay, um, we'll be back in four minutes, so... All good? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm watching JJ stream. <laughs> Fair enough. Get him, JJ. Get Pog. That's cringe. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say mm -hmm. that again.
to pee to my mic real quick. Sorry. Oh uh, I'm so happy you didn't do that. Just here, just like. Yep. Your yep. mic just clips out. Oh man. A lot of reconstructing some uh, some sound right there. Yeah. The Steve is back. I made a blizzard. <laughs> Good job, Steve. Hey, ring, man. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Did you have any help from your mom? She. <laughs> what is up with your mic? What do you mean? Sounds like you're underwater. What? Okay, discount Kermit the Frog. Oh, we got a little ditty for the kitties. Hi! I cannot hear. I, you're so, like, fuzzy, bro. When I'm through with you. They'll never find Shout out to Kermit body. the Frog. Link that straight into the comments. If you did. So, oh, Sean, what do you think of our quest, quest. so far? A quest? You wow. sound so fuzzy. Please tell me that that's like a filter or something. What? Okay, we're good now. Oh, yeah. It was... Was... No, it was my voice. Oh, God. I can Just do it real quickly, see? Uh -huh. and Sean. Danny. Yeah. I know this. This is random, but have the tickets for the uh for the concert in uh I forget what month it is in Vegas. Have those uh been I'm released? Not going. Right now? I can't, not I can't going? go. I can't go. It's at the wrong. It's at the wrong time, honestly. What isn't it like in? Is it in the it's winter? Not that. It's not that. It's the fact that like I looked at like my semester that year, and I'm going to be taking like eight classes. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah. Like, I'm going to be taking so many classes. I'm like, if I go for a weekend in Vegas cringe, in the middle of the semester, <laughs> yeah. it's it's not, it's not great. So I'm, not I'm just like, that part of college at all. No. Ah, and I'm taking two programs right now. So it's just like, it's eight plus the two class. So really, it's like 10 classes altogether that I'll be taking like in the fall. So that'll be fun. Mm hmm. All right, then. Just waiting for Izzy to get back. They'll never find your body. I'm gonna chop you up and shove you inside a bunch of little boxes. What? <laughs> when I'm through with you. You'll never find your body. There she is. All right. <laughs> they couldn't identify you. Oh, they kind of beat you. <laughs> so Athlet is fully singing. Your that teeth will be in a jar on my room. And Medgar is pointing him. This is a classic. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, Colmec is sitting there, like cleaning glasses. Goes, okay, what the actual fuck are you two doing? I didn't write this song. All those minorities. <laughs> I don't sing the rest. Part. I don't sing the see, rest. See, Medgar part. just fully Wait, sets his glass it. down. and goes, I'm sorry. Do you want to run that be me one more time? Be me. Wrong name. This is a song from my father. 
<laughs> ah, okay. So it's an old, so it's an old, old Zylean hymnal. <laughs> yes. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, great. Uh, well, that makes this are worse. We the, uh, are we all in the? You guys are all back in the tavern now. Yeah. Question, um, Mister Taverns Keeper. Before we answer that question, I'm just gonna say you guys were kind of in the tavern, kind of resting. Some of you guys took like a nap. Some of you guys were. Uh, eating and, and, and drinking, kind of enjoying enjoying the mala, you know. Uh, you guys watch as Rocco and Athlin come in, dripped the fuck out. Like, <laughs> well, Athlin got a new fit too? Well, I mean, Rocco's He has the depression hood. Athlin, yeah. Athlin yeah. has the depression Rogue. hood, yeah. You see, like, Athlin, like, it's a full brown and leather fit, right? Look like, and then like he turns around though. and it says Sublime on the back, and then in parentheses oh, yeah. it says Depression. <laughs> This dude, man. Is it in a line? Did you get like, can't embroidered read? gloves too? That guy just self. It's an elvish. <laughs> Wait, depression. Like it's it's sublime and common, and then depression and elvish. <laughs> so I can definitely read it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you know, it's a, but you didn't notice it. They just kind of threw it to you. You put it on, and then like they rang you up, and you got left. So you don't know it says that, but everyone else can see it. I look up Depression in Elvis, and the first thing that comes up is Ketamine. <laughs> ketamine? <laughs> oh, ketamine. Wow. Yikes. Ketamine. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. But yeah, you Rock see. Rocco's dripped. Rocco looks... Rocco looks very unique and different. Like, you guys have never seen this kind of collection of clothing before, but it looks... Hey, there has Rocco. Rocco. Yeah. What Rocco comes from, what he's seen is shirtless and shorts and uh, bone necklaces because of orc mm -hmm. culture. It's so it's, yeah, so. Um, but yeah, so you see uh, Colmick, uh watches you walk in and goes, I like it. I like it. It's, it's definitely you. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Can I get an ale? He like really is like uh um so yeah um you see he goes so I hear you guys are you guys have been picked up by the governor. So yep. that's great. He also took care of your tavern bill, so you don't have to worry about that. He um, did. Any new drinks on yes. the tab will have to be taken care of. Sugar. Well, that's okay because I actually have money now. Yeah, he took care of your astronomical debt, by the way. What was it like? I got an hour in my gold. life. It was 50,000 gold. So, yeah, no. Um, we're g I'm good. I'm no longer. I'm going dead. through something right now. <laughs> I... <laughs> Listen, all I know is that I'm no longer in the red. Um, it's a great day for all of us. Uh, drinks are not on the house, but discounted. So. Uh, uh, what's the price? What's the discounted price? One gold. <laughs> one gold for a stein. Silver. Mm. You're gonna get a shot glass. <laughs> Biggs is going to give. Um, crap! I forgot his name. Olmac. His... He's gonna give Olmac five gold and say, "Here is my tab for the day." This is it. All right, drinks are on him. And you see, you see no, 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 that's, that's, that's just for me. Oh, never mind. And you see, he just like grabs five and just slides in your way and goes, do it. Wow, <laughs> JJ, just, you exploded. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> JJ. John, John just got flash grenade. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Flash grenade. Oh, Oh my god. It's like the opposite of that vine of the black dude in total darkness. And then he, he opens his flex, eyes but, and starts uh, laughing and you see <laughs> Did he do it? Play, play the game. Let's go. Play the game on what? Dude, Pog. Pog. Watch. Pog, Pog, Pog. Um, Pog. Um, Pog. Danny, I give him a hundred silver pieces, so that's ten drinks. Oh, okay. you me. He, he takes it up, he goes Okay, cool. Drinks are on him, right? Okay, great. Drinks are on him. And you see he starts uh, you know, tossing some 
some what's mugs your, around. What's your best non-alcoholic drink? Cool. We got water. <laughs> that is not beside the sewage. Well, no, this water is not beside the sewage. We actually have a pond. Do you, if you want seawater, I can do that. <laughs> sea water. You just sent me that TikTok. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> you see, yeah, just like drinks. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Um, Why would you want seawater? Well, oh, because start... of the octopus. <laughs> It's it's an astral. It's not a real octopus. Well, also aquatic races are coming fantastic. here from time to time that need sea water, like sea elves and merfolk and other people like that. They tend to request the, uh, sea water by yo know, by name, so we tend to have that on tap. But yeah, so well, out of character, so we, that was a really good reference. <laughs> we have to get to um to the ship soon. What fresh water or salt water? Or... He's an octopus. <laughs> uh, so you see, he goes, Well, I think there's going to be like a courier that's going to come in and like pick you guys up when they're coming. Oh, by the way, what you guys are taking, a lot of fun. You guys, you guys know what you're going on? A boat. Oh, no. Ship. You guys don't know the ship you're going on? No. Ship? I oh, know. I we're not on a raft. Me. You guys are going on the best traveling tavern in the Material Plains. The, we're, traveling tavern? Traveling tavern? Yes. There's alcohol? Tavern. Maybe it's, they'll have non-alcoholics. I doubt it. It's manned by pirates. This thing is called the Grand. There's Shit. alcohol on this ship, Steve. You good? It's probably mostly rum. <laughs> it can be. Oh lord. <laughs> oh man. Uh, yeah. You see, he goes. This is. You guys are going on the Grand Shanty. The Grand Shanty. Yeah, um, whoever wants to can roll history. Those who with the sailor background can roll with advantage, or those who have, like, you know, sailed. Oh, I have sailed. I'm a sailor. Ahoy. You are 18. I got a modified 18. My advantage 18. is a 10. 18. God damn. On history? All right. Mm -hmm. Biggs, Zircon would definitely know. Oh, okay. Hazel, 1,000%. No. I got a 15. Rock. Okay, cool. Um, So here's what I'm going to say. Anybody who... What'd you get, uh, Afflin? Uh, modified 18. Modified 18? Okay. So everybody who got under a 20, above a 15, or like 15 through 20, knows the name. Like, you've heard of the Grand Shanty before. Um... And you knew that it was like a tavern. You didn't know it was like a tavern, like on a boat. Anybody who got above a twenty, um, which looks to be Hazel, you <laughs> know that this is a legit. It's like there are cruise ships, and then there's this thing. This thing's not a cruise ship by any means necessary. It is, in fact, a pirate ship, one hundred percent completely manned by pirates, and it's also incredibly safe but incredibly fun to be on it's it's a tavern by all means it's a tavern that will get you from point a to point b but it's also kind of expensive to stay on because yeah you're like kind of paying to be on a military vessel for like fun you know it's great protection if you're like going there for any kind of business reasons but it's it's a pricey pricey like stay so the fact that you guys are going on the grand shanty which is like really dope is is surprising to you okay. and of course Colmec would know about it because he's a tavern keeper um you see he goes yeah the grand shanty it's uh it's it's insane um i gotta say that the tavern keeper there he's a great guy uh shark bite sam love him shark bite, shark bite sam why do they shark call him shark bite sam you have to ask him he's a great guy though you'll, you'll love him Dope. Yeah. Does anybody know how much more time we have till we meet him? 
Well, and you see somebody comes through the door and goes, I'm looking for the party. Now. What's up? Hi, yes. <laughs> the governor uh, requests to see you at the docks. Cool. Ooh, damn. Guys, I, I think I can predict my the future. <laughs> well, I guess I don't get to ask my question. <laughs> you see, Colmet goes, you had a question? Yeah. I take the mysterious knife out of my back pocket and I put it on the bar table. I'm like, do you have any idea what this is? He looks at it, he goes, looks like some magic. You sure have to find somebody who knows what magic is. Can we all, like, make awesome. an Awesome, useless check? information, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, everyone can make an arcana check with disadvantage. Um, Athlin, you can make it flat. And Hazel can make it flat. I got a three. I got a by yeah. 20. What the fuck? Oh, shit. You said with disadvantage? Yeah, everyone else with disadvantage except for uh, Hazel and Athlin. Yeah, I got advantage? a four. Dang Dang it. four. Oh, wait, with advantage? Yeah. No, you with said... disadvantage, but you two roll flat. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I got him. Okay, so, Rocco, with a 15. Okay, so I'm going to mm. work my way up in ascending order. Rocco, with a 15, you do suss out that this is the same magic that, yeah, Zircon, Rocco, uh, you two suss out that this is the same magic that the grass man had. It's very druidic magic in nature. Hazel, you're, with a four, you're not sensing, like, where this came from. Like, it's not, your ties to the earth are not are not getting you anything off of this thing. So whatever it is, it's not natural. Um, next up was a 21. Uh, no, next up was a 20, was a modified 20. With a modified 20, Athlin, you don't know the name of this magic. You don't know the source of this magic. You do know it's the same magic that is in your tattoo. Cause when Medgar brings it out, you feel like a magnet kind of a pull towards it like opposing or drawn to drawn to it's like the whispers are stronger when he pulls it out like it's kind of like you know how you have that like ringing in your ear when everything's real silent yeah it's like that tinnitus? but then yeah, as all soon the time <laughs> tinnitus yeah exactly it's like <laughs> it's like tinnitus but when the knife is drawn out that tinnitus gets cranked up to the ambiance oh. like it's there so, oh. yeah. I relay this information to the group. Um, uh, guys, whatever that thing is, whatever magic is in that, is the same thing that made this. Should I touch that with this? I... I wouldn't want to do that. Say this conversation is happening while you guys are making your way to the docks. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Um. That's probably not a good idea since um. I don't know what this is. Um. And you know, the governor dude told me that I'm half witch. So I don't want to like. Your church boy, witch boy, governor boy. I'm just a cult. I'm a walking cult. <laughs> no, you're an edge lord. You like hear me. the guy, like the guard that's taking you goes, it sounds to me like you're a product of incest. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not incest. Um, what is the word? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Out of character, I specifically chose that word. Um, okay. in character, he goes in not in says in in. Can I roll no. to intimidate him to make him apologize? <laughs> sure. Eighteen. You see, he looks. He goes in in intercourse. Hold on. I'm... <laughs> We're all the product of intercourse, you imbecile. I I'm sorry. Don't assume your mother was Hold a on. hamster. <laughs> and your father made the elderberries. I'm sorry. Uh, and he takes you to the docks. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta find the face I make at him. And so at the docks, <laughs> you see Governor Naranos is there. He has like this wooden 
chest with him that's being carried by two butlers. Um, and you see, he, as he welcomes you to the docks, he goes, Ah, oh, yes, you made it. Thank you for being punctual. Um, they should be here at any moment, uh, but I am very excited to introduce you to the crew that is manning this ship. They are a, a lively bunch. Not sure how I feel, but how about you said that? It, it's, it, you'll get it in a second. Um, you see, he looks at his watch, he goes in three, two, one. And you watch as this ship comes out of nowhere you see like this fog bank rolls up and you watch from the fog bank this ship emerges and you see a fully manned ship like it's a fully manned beautiful wooden ship does it have anything on like the front like a... yeah you see like on the masthead I was, I was just about to get to that thank you uh, so you see the masthead is this beautiful, like, turquoise boar's head. Cool. As it comes in, and it's, like, got, like, um, ho like hops, hops bushes all around it. As it comes into view, you see it's this beautiful cherry red. Um, this is the face I made to the dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, just he was awesome. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and so you watch as the ship pulls into the harbor. You see, this is a fully manned ship. You also see that some of these people are incorporeal. You watch as half of the ship is. Ooh, actual people like throwing ropes and bringing and like pulling up the uh the, the the sails and such and weighing anchor and you see the other half are ghosts oh, just sick. flitting between each other to and fro you see that kind of commanding everybody is this one brawlic dude he's like a brawlic ghost and he's got like a goatee going on he wears like beautiful ornate like captain's garb he's just kind of pointing and directing everybody and from like the docks you're seeing this and next to him comes in a, a another person a purple tiefling with curled horns rolls in on a wheelchair and is like t speaking with him and like points down at the docks towards the governor and you see uh the the big ghost guy he looks down and he like waves and as the ship pulls in they lower the ramp down for this uh wheelchair bound tiefling and as they come down they meet you at the docks and they go right then well welcome to the grand shanty i'm uh, commander artemisia oh uh, foul is this excuse me sorry it's a oh, it's a bit of a Work out getting up and down the uh, the ramp. Um, but then this is my second in command. And you see, he looks, he goes, Iron Guts, nice to meet you. You see, he sticks out his hand. Iron Guts? Captain Garius Iron Guts. Cool name. I feel safer already. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. And I stick and I my like hand. You, you do it, your hand fully goes through his. He goes, ah, some ghost humor. Can I? Can I I want to be like poking his hand. Like, you see, he grabs your hand. He goes, "Yeah, I can grab what I want to and be corporeal when I don't. So, don't poke." I bet that's quite rude, be, lady. She was good. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, uh, Commander uh, Falistus goes, "Well, then, uh, you'll find that Captain Iron Guts is a, quite a lovely fellow." Anyways, Governor, it is a pleasure to have you all aboard. Shall we take your stuff up? Uh, and you see the Governor goes, yes, yes, um, thank you. I would like to introduce you to my entourage. They will be with me on this journey. Um, everybody, introduce yourselves. I'm going to help myself to some mala. And you see he turns and makes his way up. Um, and you see uh, 
Captain Iron Gush just kind of looks at all of you, and he looks at you, uh, Biggs. He goes, I like you. I don't know why I do. Biggs, pleasure to meet you. Like the name. <laughs> he just kind of looks, he's like, you all seem pretty, pretty solid people, but he looks great. So do you. See, he points over to LB. He goes, I feel like you got a lot of spirit about you. <laughs> he doesn't he's talk gone. much. Psst. He's he rude. Sleep. That's okay. Silent, no. like it. John. Uh, they're just talking to you. I'm here. <laughs> Indeed, you are. That's in character. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah. I'm like, here. Comes out I'm of a coma, standing no, up. I'm saying that you were just oh, napping. And you're still kind of waking up. You don't even register that there's a ghost, like a pirate ship manned by ghosts in front of you. You're just like, oh, dude's blue. Cool. <laughs> but yeah, so. So what's my <laughs> John. I'm oh, sorry. I was texting my friend about, like, like we gotta go do something. Like we have a missions trip on Thursday. So, oh, oh, so the uh, the ship that we're working on is half, like half of the people on it are ghosts and half the people on it are not ghosts. That's uh, that still doesn't explain. What, so do I just like? This guy is wow. introducing himself to us, and he likes you and Biggs for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Not even some reason. You just kind of assess the situation. It's one big, like, fighter dude relating to other big fighter dudes, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. That's really all it is. <laughs> just took a look at you guys and went, I like you. I like you. I say, okay. That's nice. I'm not going to take that personally, but thank you. You seem like a delinquent. Oh, that, that I will take personally. That is very true. <laughs> It's true, but it hurts. Things. Is there right, anyone else no. on the ship? Hi, I'm Hazel. Uh, hi there. I'm Captain Iron Guts. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, and so, did you ask that to them, or did you, like, at Mikey, are you asking that to me, or are you asking that to Rocco? To you, my bad. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, this ship is lively. Like, there's a lot of people going on. You hear music coming from it uh, as you watch it, like, you know, still, like, Everything's kind of setting up. People are coming off the boat. People are coming onto the boat. Uh, yeah. And you see... Um, so we don't have uh, this thing rented out to ourselves. There are other customers as well. No, but yeah, there are other customers as well. But um, to get passage, it's, it's like kind of like how a cruise ship is like, you're not the only ones on the cruise ship, but there are other people there, you know? Okay. Um, I don't know if you have bad food or not. Yeah. You see... Um, you see... Uh, the commander goes... Right, well then, make yourselves at home. You have most of the lower decks to yourselves. The governor made sure to rent that out. The rest of our guests are unloading. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. The ship is mostly, mostly available to you. If you have any questions, again, feel free to ask. You have the whole staff at your disposal. Thank you, Captain. Thanks. All right. Um, and so she, uh, taps Wait, can I, Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I roll a perception check to, like, see, like, like, interesting people I could talk to? Yeah, I was, about, the, to, I was uh, about to ask if we could do this. Yeah, we're gonna get to that in just a second. Um, so, uh, right. you see she taps, uh, see the commander taps, uh, Iron Guts, he goes, oh, right. And see, so takes her wheelchair and, like, pushes her the ramp, um, and you guys, and see, he kind of goes, you're coming or not? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, continues up. And so as you guys look around, so I'm gonna say you guys come onto the ship. It is a beautiful, beautiful ship. Um, let me see if I can get a picture coming up. Uh, I'll get you guys pictures in a minute. Um, yeah, so you guys, beautiful ship. The main deck is filled with lively uh, tavern, uh, tavern patrons, uh, and you see like there's pirates and ghosts floating about. You see some very well dressed uh, guests kind of watching uh you see this bartender uh he's pouring out drinks this dude's a like he's he makes bigs look like his little brother like he's tall he's got this long like braided beard 
this dude's a dwarf. This is the tallest dwarf you've ever seen. Like he's <laughs> like, but like you see, like he's proportionately a dwarf here, and then like his legs are just a lot longer. Um, and so you see, he's like, right, and that's when I took his head and just boom, tore it off. Ah, never have another family union again. <laughs> and uh, you see, he's like pouring out drinks for uh, different people. Um, you see, all oh, around yeah. you guys, uh, there is a. <laughs> You see, uh, off in the corner at one table, there's this one uh, well-dressed um, individual, and they are like, oh gosh, how do I describe them? Um, you see, they're like wearing a hat, obscuring their face, uh, but you can tell from like the tufts of their sleeves that like there are feathers coming out of it. Uh, and you see as you guys come on board, they kind of tilt their head up and you see this like parrot person, like this parrot or a kokra. Yeah. Um, and you see like uh, playing some music or is like a band of pirates just kind of like you got one guy on the accordion, you got one guy uh, playing like a piano that's like slipping and sliding, you know, uh, with like the boat just kind of rocking. He's kind of like to and fro. Um, and like people are like joining in like uh very merry uh um what's it called Shan see, singing she shanties all day long yeah uh, and so that's what you see on board just a very lively crew nice mm -hmm. all righty and so you see the the uh governor comes back around and goes well how's it look definitely not at all what i was expecting from Thank you. Big oh. upgrade from your town. I, mean, I have to only provide the best for my entourage, no. after all. Oh, by the way, if anyone asks you're with me, that's the answer for anywhere because I know one of you. You see, he points to you, Medgar, goes, has a bounty on your head in West Haven. As long as you say that you are part of my party. You'll be fine. Or at least okay. you should be. Okay. Fine. But the rest of you, uh, enjoy, eat, drink, be merry. We're going to be on this boat for a few days. So, have fun. Thank you. And uh, that is where we are going to end our session. Okay. Sorry, it's a bit of an anticlimactic end there, uh, but it is hitting at 9 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Did, did you see the video I sent with the kangaroo smacking this thing? Uh, sorry, what? Why? I went to Bush Gardens, bro. Literally everything was. All right, thank you guys for watching this stream and watching in the future if you do. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and uh, we will catch you guys later.